welcome to today's session in today's session we are going to talk about how one can calculate the recovery for the assay of drug product it is very important to you know take care of all the parameters and understand how the small error can lead to a very massive mistake in calculation of percent recovery so i am going to walk you through the entire process of how to calculate the amount added amount found amount recovered and finally we will also talk about how the calculation formula can be designed so let us begin with the point number 1 that is amount added and here we are going to talk about the assay of drug product let us assume that you are performing the recovery for a drug product at its 100% accuracy level and to do that you must understand what is the test preparation procedure so the test preparation procedure is this way dilute a weight of crushed tablets powder equivalent to 50 mg and then dilute the crushed powder to 100 ml and further 10 to 100 ml so this is your test preparation procedure so in this test procedure you must have understood that the quantity of api is how much 50 mg in the stock preparation and then finally the placebo weight let us assume that it is 200 mg so now you are uh, you have started the preparation of accuracy uh, solution at 100% level and the placebo weight you have taken is exactly 200 mg uh, now during the performing the accuracy study you either can take the api or in case if you have the sufficient working standard or reference standard in hand you can always use that so let us assume for this time we have used working standard available with us so the api standard weight hmm, let api standard weight taken is 50 mg this is the weight taken during the accuracy study let us assume that the standard's potency hmm, that your weight for uh, preparation of 100% accuracy level is 99.2% so it is very important to understand the amount added so you may be thinking that okay the amount added over his over here is the 50 mg but this is not compensated for the potency so we must compensate the weight taken and correct it for the potency so the actual api added hmm, is 50 into 99.2 divided by 100 that comes to 49.6 mg so this is the actual amount of api standard we have used for preparation of accuracy solution so this has become our amount added i hope you understand the amount added calculation the next important step is amount found so how to understand the amount found so let us understand what is the standard preparation procedure so the standard preparation is dilute 50 mg of the standard to 100 ml and further dilute 10 ml to 100 ml so this is the standard preparation procedure for this product now this is the actual practical data the standard weight taken during the accuracy study is 50.1 mg but what is the actual standard weight taken is it 50.1 mg do you remember that we adjusted the potency of the api standard during the amount added similarly you have to also compensate the loss of the potent you have to adjust the weight of uh, standard taken with the potency so the potency of standard we know it is 99.2 so the actual weight of standard taken is 49.6992 mg then what is the response you have injected now standard solution and the test solution which is your accuracy solution and you found that the response for standard is 10000 pic area whereas the response for your accuracy sample is 9987 so now the next important step is how to calculate the amount found so let us understand that so 10000 area right what is the area of the standard we got it is the 10000 so the 10000 area belongs to 49.6992 mg of the standard 
look at here the 49.6992 milligram is the weight of actual standard taken during the standard solution preparation so whatever area we got for the standard uh, is because of what the actual standard weight which is 49.6992 milligram now what is our requirement we need to understand what is the area we got for the accuracy sample preparation it is 9987 so this 900 9987 9, sample area will belongs to how much milligram of the standard or how much milligram of the drug substance and we assume that it is the x so what is the x now just do a small cross multiplication and you will understand that x is equal to 9987 into 49.6992 divided by 10,000 and here is the amount found 49.6345 milligram so here i would like to also mention one important point that you must not round up the intermediate values have i rounded up the intermediate values of the standard weight taken or the amount found i haven't rounded up it to any decimal point okay so you must not do that why because intermediate values must not be rounded off let us now understand what is the uh, way forward to calculate the amount recovered hmm? so the amount recovered can be calculated by very simple formula which is amount found divided by amount added or the true amount added into 100 so if you you know substitute the values over here you will find that the the percent recovery <coughs> uh, or the amount recovered is 99.87 percent so this is your actual percent recovery for this accuracy sample solution now having understood the entire process of calculation of uh, you know the uh, recovery let us now build the calculation formula and here it is so the amount found in milligram amount found in milligram if you look at here the amount found in milligram is 9987 is actually what the response of the accuracy sample solution over here this 49.6992 is the actual standard weight in milligram and this 10,000 is nothing but the standard response i have just replaced this uh, uh, actual meaning of these figures over here i hope you understand the logic behind coming across this calculation formula so further simplifying the same formula you can end up with the actual standard weight is actually what is the standard weight taken into standard purity or standard potency on as is basis divided by 100 so i also uh, should have mentioned about one important point over here but i forgot to mention that the potency of standard should also be must be considered on as is basis it is it, it must not be considered the potency on dried basis or any another form but the potency of standard must be considered on as is basis so the amount found in milligram now sure we said that the standard weight hmm, the standard weight but the standard weight is further diluted to certain volume and then the volume is prepared and then further diluted so you can expand the standard preparation procedure this way so the point number two is the amount found is what the accuracy sample response divided by standard response into now standard weight divided by this 100 comes from what because our standard was diluted to 100 ml further the 10 ml of the standard stock was further diluted to 100 ml so 10 to 100 now if you remember our sample was prepared in 100 ml volumetric flask let me take you back to the sample preparation procedure dilute weight of crushed tablets powder equivalent of 50 milligram to 100 ml right and then further 10 to 100 ml so let us go back over here once again so this is the logic of the 100 over here this belongs to the sample stock dilution and then uh, 100 divided by 10 comes from what hmm? the 10 divided by uh, the 10 ml is diluted to 100 ml so this entire factor is belongs to your sample preparation procedure then standard purity divided by 100 so if you substitute the values again in the above calculation formula okay and you will come across now this 
ex expanded calculation for the amount found and if you calculate it you will end up with the same figure that is 49.6345910 milligram which we also found at the point number 4 hmm, with the very simple cross multiplication so this is the formula for calculation of your amount found and then amount recovered is very simple right amount recovered is nothing but the amount found divided by amount added into 100 the real concern is this one how to calculate the amount found uh, uh, and how to calculate the amount added i hope you must have now understood the entire process of you know the calculation involved during the assay recovery thank you very much for watching this video and i will meet you soon with such kind of useful and informative videos till then take care and bye bye see you soon